Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let me scoot up here. I'm gonna put some chapstick on. So happy Easter. I know you're not watching this on Easter, but today is Easter. I'm gonna put some of this on my lips. I just got some of this. This is the Brazilian Kiss. It's the, by the company Sol de Janeiro. So it looks like this. I have used this before. I love this so much, just like this big oversized chapstick. I wish I had thought about it while the sale was going on, but I didn't, so. Oh. Mm, coffee. Still drinking the Kona coffee from Hawaii. So good. Anyways, so I haven't filmed in a long time because life has just been like wild, crazy. It's another story for another day. But anyways, yeah, so today's Easter. I'm going to hang out with my family, my parents, my siblings. Um, I have a niece, my husband. We're all going over to, oh, let me do some color correcting first. Hold on. We're all going over to my parents' house. So I thought, let me just film this. I need to get ready anyways. Haven't posted in a little bit. So I'm using the Fenty, um, the Bright Fix. So yeah, I was like, I'm just gonna turn on the camera for a little Sunday chat session. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was allowed to say, I don't know what's been going on. There's a lot that's been going on, but again, it's a lot to get into. Let me just say the housing market is wild. If you know, you know, I feel like everybody knows. Today I'm skipping primer because I'm gonna see how this works. This is the Super Goop Every Single Face Watery Lotion. I picked this up during the Sephora sale and I really, really love this. And I wanna see like how it works um, like underneath makeup by itself. So I'm just gonna use that as a primer. And I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath, the uh, Skin Fetish Foundation. I feel like I haven't worn this in a while, surprisingly because it's one of my favorites. Let me know if you guys know how long you can keep these. I was just thinking about that today. This is actually a brand new one, but I have some, I have these two. <laughs> these are dirty and I just didn't feel like washing them. I do wash my sponges every single time before I use them. I always wash them, but in general, I'm not sure how long I can have them. Like before you just have to toss them out. So if you know, let me know. I probably should Google that. I'm also using the Pat McGrath concealer. And I think I'm going to use a little bit of the YSL, the Touche Clot. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, what color? Oh, in the shade 4.5. So it has one of those little like, you know what I mean? One of those little pens. So I usually just kind of put some on the back of my hand and then work my way. But this is a little bit lighter as you get, hopefully you can see. Here, I'll put it next to it. So it's a little bit lighter in shade than the uh, Pat McGrath which is nice if you want like a little bit more of a brightening effect. Okay, so something else I picked up, also missed the sale, but this is the Vision Flush Lip Cheek and Eye Color by Danessa Myricks. A girl at Sephora told me about this, and um, I originally, well, I first heard about this from Daisy Cash, so I watch her YouTube videos. She's one of my favorite YouTubers, and she was talking about this highlighter. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. How pretty is that, if it'll focus? Come on, there we go. It's pretty, you can like see the color through it and underneath. So this is in the shade uh, Tiara. So that is the highlighter. Super, super pretty. So yeah, I was like, I have to try this. And it is liquid, so I'm gonna put this on before I powder. 
And I think Daisy, I think she used it with a sponge. So I'm gonna try it with a sponge first. Oh, that's pretty. Hopefully you guys can see that reflection. Ooh, so pretty. And then maybe a little down here. And a lot of people don't like highlighter on like the apples. I kind of like it. Um, especially if you are doing a cream highlighter. So you can put the cream highlighter and be a little bit more, I don't know, liberal. <laughs> I was thinking of the right word. You can be kind of liberal where you put it. And then you can, if you're putting like bronzer powder or blush, or even just regular like translucent powder over your face, it'll kind of, I feel like it gives you a good lit from within glow. It's not like too much but I really like a little bit of highlighter on the cheeks. Just as you're talking and smiling, your cheeks are like bouncing light off. I think it's pretty. And then we're also going to try some of this today. So I haven't actually tried this, but I talked about it again in the Sephora haul. So this is the Kosas. You can kind of see their name in the packaging. It's like really faint right there. But this is the um, Cloud Set. They're like, well, it's, trans it's not transparent. It has a little bit of color, but it's not supposed to be like, a ton of color. So that's the color I got, which looks like it's not going to be great for me, but we're going to try it. We're going to try it. We're going to see. But underneath my eyes, I'm just going to use this one. So this is the Pat McGrath, the same one that I usually use. So I'm going to put this right here. And I'm really trying to keep it in this specific little area because I don't want to lose that pretty highlight. But I have to set under my eyes because it will crease if I don't. Okay, so now for the actual um, face powder. So I'm going to use this fluffy brush and just kind of dip into here. I think there's something coming out. <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to lightly powder the face. And it's good that there's so many like bright lights in front of me so I can really see like, and I have my window open because it's a really pretty day out. So we have all the light. Yeah, I feel like this is working. It's definitely not a ton of powder, which is perfect for somebody like me. Like I'm not somebody who wants a ton of powder because I have dry skin, you know? So I just want a little something. And you guys have seen how many times I've dipped in here. And it doesn't feel like there's really anything going on. I mean, it's pretty light, which is really nice. So if you're somebody who also has dry skin and doesn't want like a super powdery look, try this one. And then for bronzer, we're going to try this. This is another Sephora pickup from the sale. So this is the shade Uptown, and this is by Ilia, and I swatched it during my video. I am so excited to use this. I feel like this is a really pigmented bronzer, which is good, but just be careful. Definitely be careful. A little definitely goes a long way with this guy. For blush, I think I'm going to go a little bit pinkier. I normally do this one here, which is Max Melba, but I think I'm gonna go for a little bit more of like a bubblegum pink, which is this one down here. Just because it's Easter, why not? This is a Pinch O Peach. So this is a really pretty, like, bubblegum like pink shade very youthful very fun and 
Another recent purchase. So this is the um, Sephora Pro Blush Brush 96. So this is what, if you've never purchased a Sephora brush, actually I feel like their brushes are really good. This is how it comes. And then, sorry, it like stuck. And then it comes like this and you just push it out of this little silicone. Really? Oh my gosh, come on. Okay, so that's how you get it off. You just push it up and then you slide it out. Ooh, this is nice. The brush, I mean. I mean the blushes too, but. I like this brush. It feels soft. And again, I really like the tapered effect just because I feel like it fits perfectly on your cheeks and you can kind of just like gradually like paint, you know what I mean? I feel like this brush deposits color, but not too much, which is really good for blush because blush, you can get carried away really easily, especially if you love blush and you're like, oh yes, blush, and then it goes like nuts. I'm gonna contour a little bit at the top here. And then I'm gonna contour a little bit at the bottom. And then right here maybe. Okay, for the eyes, I wanna do a little shimmer. Over the weekend I actually did my friend's makeup. She had to do a photo shoot and so I did a little bit of like shimmer in her eyes. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I think I'm just going to use this bronzer, the same one that I used for my nose contour. Yeah, we're just going to pick some of this up with a little blending brush. But yeah, so my friend, I did her makeup for this photo shoot and I used some of this. This is the Christian Dior the Dior Show Fusion Mono. Look at this shimmer, so pretty. I haven't used it in forever and it came out so pretty on her. So I was like, I think I wanna do that for Sunday's makeup. Be careful with shimmer if you don't do your eye makeup first because especially if your shimmer has like fallout, you wanna be very careful. But I'm just going to pat that mainly in the center, but then you can kind of take it to the left and the right just for like an easy, all over, no fuss, shimmer look. Oh, I think I got some. Ah. Yeah, I definitely got a little fallout. Be careful with the fallout. Um, let's see, where is my Okay, if you do get fallout, what you could do, actually, I'm going to use, where is it? I have this little sample. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. The sample has lasted me so long, but basically it's just like this white powder. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of it, just, oh, a little bit, and then kind of put it under here. I should have done that before. So yeah, <laughs> don't be like me. If you do any type of shimmer, always put a little bit of powder. Even if you're not into like baking, just put a little bit of powder. That way, if there is any fallout, it falls out on top of the powder and then you can just wipe it away. And in case you're wondering for my friend, yes, I actually did do her eyes first. So we did her eye makeup and then we wiped away any type of fallout and then I did her face. So I do know better. I'm not sure why I didn't do that for myself. I just realized all this powder going everywhere and I have my open coffee. I'm probably drinking powder, but mm, I'm not gonna not drink the coffee. So, oh well. Okay, for um, a powder highlighter. I have a new one. So this is by NARS. It's called, what is this called? Port de France. Port, no. Oh, not port. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Fort. 
<laughs> says Fort de France. Anyways, yeah, that is the color or yeah, the shade. Yes. And then because my name is Paris, I was like, I have to get it. I'm just kidding. That's not why I got it. It's so pretty, you guys. So this is the highlight shade. I don't know if you can, I don't know if it's doing it justice. I feel like the camera is not doing it justice. When I swatched it in Sephora though, I was like, what? Why don't I have this? I feel like the swatch isn't even that pretty. The one in Sephora looked gorgeous. I mean, it's okay. Don't get me wrong. Hopefully you guys can, can you guys see that? You see the glow. There you go. See the glow? See that? Oh yeah. Hopefully it looks good on my face. Ooh, wow. This is really, really pretty. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so I am done with everything. Well, with mostly everything. I'm, I need to do my eyebrows and um, throw some mascara on. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll get a lip and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so I finished my makeup and I did wanna just tell you really fast. For some reason, after I turned off the camera, I was kinda like, mm, I liked the makeup, but I just wanted a little bit more. I normally don't do eyeliner, but today I did. So this is um, by MAC. This is their eye pencil in the shade Coffee, which is such a pretty color. If you're not somebody who wants like that really like bold black um, eyeliner, this might be perfect for you. So this is like a very, very dark, deep brown espresso color. And what I did is I put this on the top uh, lash line and I just kind of like lightly smudged it so it's really really tight lined on the top and then on the bottom I went in with this palette this is the by Mario palette and I put a little bit of this color just because it kind of matches you can kind of see they're both like those dark brown espresso colors so I put that on the bottom lash line and then for the lips sticking with the coffee theme <laughs> this is by Kylie Jenner this is her pencil in the shade 609 iced latte so this is just, a, and her pencils are so creamy, but this is just a really pretty, like soft brown. So I lined my lips with that. And then I used this lip gloss. This is by Zoeva, and this is in the shade Strong Career. I actually haven't used this in such a long time, but I really wanted like a mauve, like a really pretty, I don't know, just a really pretty mauve shade. And so that is what that looks like. And it's also what I'm wearing. So yeah, this is the finished look. I really like the way it turned out. I feel like it's perfect for Easter morning. So I'm just going to go with it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I hope you and your family have a wonderful, happy Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday morning. <laughs> well, actually, it's not Sunday when you're watching this. Whatever day you're watching this, have a great day. Bye, guys.